Alright guys, Supreme Comet here and today we are going to be talking about the last data unit that has uh, received the alteration. We have the Heavy Arms and Endless Work version. So this Heavy Arm definitely looks a lot better than the regular TV version um, Heavy Arm. So definitely looking really great. As far as how many parts we are having for this overall set, we have 7 parts in total. So these are some of the base parameter at 6 star level 90 plus you know gold marks purple marks and etc so you guys can see that this is definitely a range based unit uh coming in at 19,000 for shot attack and 21,000 for the shot defense so this is looking quite good um you know base uh, before alteration so i think things do i do want to kind of quickly show you guys uh it's kind of weird right so this one is supposedly like a shooting based unit but the stats i, I don't think this one is a good example i think maybe the torso um is, or maybe even maybe the leg is that probably because i remember spotting a part i think it was the arm so i was like why does the arm has more shot or or mainly attack than sh shot attack but then i'm like oh is the arm supposed to have a good you know melee attack so i think that was it um i thought there was something else that i do want to point out but overall it's pretty good right now uh we do have four ex skills and then um three parts of portrait so we definitely do have to see how good are the parts of portrait the ex gear that we have this one definitely do need an alteration to perform better these two at the end not really and then the back part definitely do need it because this one is like a magazine type ex skill so alteration definitely will save this one in a way so i think this one exclusively i might hop into like an actual 3v3 arena just to test out its power because this one is like a magazine based ex skill so maybe we can do some good in that but yeah because it, i mean like i can't really fit four different ex skill onto the same build so that's why i'm gonna use these three in the multi mission and then this one specifically in a 3v3 arena just want to see how it performs and all that good stuff but without further ado let's kind of quickly take a look at the alteration because we want to see what's what's going on here head part let's see oh wow wow 6k shot deep or shot yeah shot defense hello that is oh wow okay so this is definitely very accessible to a lot of people you know initial ex skill charge boosted up by 20 percent when you're using a long shooter job license that is good great shot attack base you know not ten thousand. i know but shot defense is really really hot so that is a, what we love to see this one unfortunately may not be the best part trace starting off but this one definitely does you know i would say is good enough you know i i think it definitely uh redeem itself so it's not bad i i think that's good that's actually really good so torso now wow wow that's really good shot defense 7k base shot attack was like you know mid 3000 that is good this one um this one has a better piercing now so that's pretty good wow those shot defense really did went up by a lot wow even this one is good. okay so this one didn't really change all that much right so i mean like this one is give or take you might not even need to alter it right but man, if you guys are using the arm specifically to just use it, it's good. You know, upper 3K, like almost 7K for the shot defense. I'm sold. I'm sold. That's good. That's good. Um, This one didn't really change all that much. So this one is doing fairly fine already. Um, it's not, if this one is going up to like an, I don't know, A minus, that'd be a whole lot better. But as it is right now, I think it should be sufficient enough before alteration uh wow it's pretty good um leg parts do tend to have a, lo a little bit of a lower stats than compared to other parts so this one is really good all right i'll take that back part let's see well, let's see what's the magazine like now maybe like in b plus a minus around that range pretty good pretty good spread once again uh but i guess something i didn't really point out too much is like the actual armor isn't too shabby either, so that's definitely something not to really sleep on as well. But what? Hmm. C power, huh? Yikes. Hmm. I don't. Yeah, I. I don't know how I feel about this one because only a C power. Oh, that. That kind of hurts. Yeah. 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 That. That. That really hurts. I don't. I don't. 
it doesn't really justify why they gave it a C power. It doesn't make sense to me, but they gotta do what they gotta do, right? Wow, 11.4K and three or almost, excuse me, 2,040 shot defense. This one is cooking. Okay, yup, 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 yup. This one is good. Yeah. <laughs> So you, you do have to run heavy armor, unfortunately, to proctor this one, but this is nice. Look at that. Enemy shooting plus, or shooting damage plus 35%. You kidding me? This is good. Yeah. This one, heavy armor definitely do have a lot of love as far as like standard goes. So I mean, like, I will take that. That is really good. That is a really, really, really good range weapon. I can't stress that enough. This, it looks good, you know? Uh, this one, not really, before 30 second pass, so situational, obviously, right? If you are able to finish your match within the first 30 seconds, you're good. Anything past that, you are, you might as well just not run this one, right? Uh, so yeah, it's it's definitely really situational. Um, definitely really good for arena stuff, you know, because you are supposed to technically finish it fast, you get a better score, so... Um, but overall, it's pretty good. I definitely do like the stat distribution. Definitely looking very, very promising as far as the actual shot defense itself. Um, the Beam Galligan, definitely a top notch to be looking at. So definitely a must archer. Definitely a must to farm up to. If you guys don't mind running heavy armor, this is good. That is really, really good. Um, other than that, all the other ones are just more performance wise as far as like how it performs in the battle, right? To see if it do some damage the back part it is a little bit of a tricky one because you only went up to like a little bit of a power boosting as far as that goes so we would definitely see how it, it works or how it performs in actual like multi missions or even arena so let me do alter everything so i can show you guys how it looks like with everything together alterate it and you guys will have a better idea of like how the stat is afterwards all right, so after alteration, this is uh, the stat that we are working with. Wow, this is probably by far a more impressive alteration that I've seen in for in, in terms of stats. Like this is kind of crazy, I guess. Like I'm not really keeping track of like every one of the alteration like I had did before. So like this one definitely did surprise me by a lot. I guess in a way, um, armor is definitely you know pretty noticeable. Um, shot attack 33.8, uh, shot defense at 37.6. That is, that is good. Um, yeah, I think, you know, like eventually I do want to sit down and just kind of take a look at everything that is stand related and then try to build a build that I really think is gonna excel in terms of what it's doing. Like, you know, like purely power boosting or purely, you know, um, EXQ cooldown. I think with what we have lately, I, I think that's definitely possible, but I just need to sit down and gather all the information and kind of make that build to, and then after I can definitely present it to you guys so you guys can kind of do something of your own. But yeah, this is looking like something that I'll add on the, on the list. Uh, like, like for sure, the beam galling, that is looking fairly impressive. But uh, without further ado, we are going to hop into um, the Perfect Circuit Multi Mission first, then hop into a quick 3 and 3 arena so you guys can see um how good or how bad it could be as far as the five part magazine type ex skill but yeah let's uh, get started all right so we are in so most of these uh ex skill do have great trackings on them so um especially like the late part ex skill so we will see how that goes just trying to line things up right now all right let's see all right mm, i don't know it's not looking great damage wise Yes, we did have help, but is that is that good? I don't know, man. Eh, yeah. I can't really say good or bad because it's like, you know, it's kind of, I don't know. I think we can still finish it with the wheel and stuff, right? Yeah. Let's see. Oh, oh no. Yep, I think I lost. Um, well, I lost too, but I was gonna say I lost the new Gundam, so FF uh, Lake Park EX2 or the Lake, Lake Park Trace because it has to be what 90% or above in terms of health. But yeah, hmm, it's kind of it's kind of lackluster. I definitely have to say it's not it's not meant to use in like this situation, right? Unless you buff yourself, then you, you can go ahead and do it. But under a non-buff situation, this is this is the result because you, I'm just underpowered in a way. But okay. Um, I guess we hop into a quick 
uh, three and three arena. I think that should be better. I'm still gonna be running some of the other EX skills, but I will have to use the backward EX skill because that's primarily what I want to test out. So we'll be back. All right, so this is uh, actually a great map to use this. Oh, it's only, I was about to say, I was trying to split bullets, right? I was trying to do this, but it doesn't really work in a sense. So you can definitely one shot, no problem. Yeah, you, do, are, you are doing a lot of hits. All right. Yeah, pretty, pretty good. And just that my expectation when I'm using this type of EX skill, I'm kind of comparing this one to the dual assault shroud arm EX skill, where it's the magazine type EX skill. You are able to like kind of split bullets here and there. So that's what I was intentionally wanting to do. But obviously when I was toggling, toggling in between enemies, it wouldn't work because I'm literally pulling out my beam gatling gun and kind of like raining on that one enemy. So not really good for like, you know, multiple enemy lineup situation in a sense. It's going to be one at a time. So that's that. Uh, timing wise, you know, 273. It's not too terrible, I guess, in a way. Um, we didn't heal. That was the unfortunate factor, but yeah, overall, it's pretty good. It, it would definitely help you out in arena specifically, like this situation, I guess. Um, because uh, it just does good, good damage. So if your enemy does a revive, for example, no revive for them because you should be able to nearly one shot them, if not like completely one shot them anyways. But overall, I think it's pretty good. Not, not too terrible, not too terrible. But anyway, guys, that is good. It's going to be pretty much it as for the all version review for the heavy arm and sword version. Um, overall, I am very positive about the stat. That the stat is definitely something I'm really proud of how they did it. Uh, EX skill wise, I think they are definitely good. Um, it's just that I, I believe it was the late EX skills and then the army EX skill. It's not much of an improvement. So if you're not really using it for like stat sticking, for example, don't really you don't really need to alter it. I think they're fine. Uh, back part EX skill does come up a little bit slow-ish at time because you do have to kind of pop up your beam gatling kind of aim at your enemy so that was kind of like something i kind of saw immediately um other than that i think everything is pretty solid so overall pretty good uh definitely makes it a very good standard shooting base build especially for the skeleton of it so i'm definitely pretty happy about that but um other than that that's pretty much what i have for you guys and then i'll be catching you all on the next one